setting up my home office and I uh, went through some of the stuff I got. One of the things was a book called The Wealthy Barber by David Chilton. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty easy read. Um, I, I read it when I was 12. Um, and then later that year, I asked for stocks for Christmas. Uh, because the big thing I got from that book was the time time value in investing uh, and how you just set something up, it earns small returns that compound and you know, over time, uh, that's where the success uh, really starts to take off. Uh, investing in real estate is no different. Uh, I mean, I guess anybody that bought a lot of real estate 15, 20 years ago maybe looks real smart because prices doubled. Um, to be honest, when I was buying real estate assets, I was never thinking that the prices would take off the way they did. It was always about paying down a little bit more and, you know, maybe the house would go up, you know, five, 10 grand a year in value. Um, but over 20 years that those numbers would add up and eventually I would have no mortgage, uh, and the rent would be profit. So, um, in the current investment environment where we've seen, you know, a lot of investors, the numbers are getting squeezed a little bit. People are getting uh, pinched with higher interest rates. Um, you know, investing in real estate uh, can be a bit of a cash flow game uh, because, uh, you know, the cash comes in and trickles every month. Uh, but sometimes you get large capital expenditures or even just getting a property up uh, and ready uh, to rent or get it, you know, fully optimized with uh, the right configuration configuration of bedrooms and how you want, um, yeah, how you want the house to be properly laid out to optimize and maximize its potential. Sometimes that takes years and cash. Um, so uh, when we're looking at investment numbers, uh, you know, we look at them a couple of different ways. Um, biggest thing is, you know, uh, what's it going to look like day one when we buy it or what we think we can get it to, uh, and then where uh, where the potential for the property is once it's fully optimized and, you know, we've had a chance to get uh, the right tenants in uh, at the right rates. So um, all that to say, I, you know, real estate, uh, I, a lot of people were calling and wanted to invest a year ago, two years ago. Uh, it's been quiet for the last little while, but I do think now is probably your opportunity to buy, um, especially if you buy now. On a variable interest rate, the numbers are going to look ugly for the first year. Uh, but if we can uh, see uh, a little bit of rent growth, watch interest rates drop, or uh, even in a variable rate, you can turn around and lock in at a fixed rate, and those will probably drop faster than the variable rates. Um, you could be looking at uh, much cleaner uh, and better cash flow numbers, uh, you know, kind of eight months to, to a year, maybe two years down the road. Uh, and again, if you're buying or investing in real estate right now, you're, you should be looking at it with about a 20 year time horizon. Um, and so not too worried about the way things are going to go in the first month or two. Uh, we're really more worried about, uh, where we're going to be at a year five, uh, year 10 and more excited about where we're going to be at year 15, year 20. Uh, anyways, I could talk about this all day. Um, but if you do want to just explore your options or chat about, um, you know, property management, or uh, you know what you might be able to qualify for, uh, things that you can do with your own home equity, or ways to plan, you know, to eventually plot out your course to real estate investment. Reach out; we're always happy to chat. Uh, we've got all kinds of uh, tools and uh, tricks to kind of help you uh, get a better handle on what it is that you want to do and and how we can help you accomplish that.